Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm super excited to share with you a new order that I've received from BB Craft. For those of you that have been watching a while, I'm part of their YouTubers program. So I receive products for free to play around with, use um, in my crafts and share with you guys here on YouTube. So I have kind of divided my order into two piles of stamps and dies. Now in my last order that I did, I did try to steer away because I do tend to go for stamps and dies when I order from BB Crafts. Um, last time I did a little, something a little bit different, but this time there were certain dies and certain stamps that I just had to have. Um, and you'll see why in just a moment. So I think I'll start with the stamps first. So I'm just going to move this section away. So I've got two lots of stamps and they're both from a company called Globe Land. Um, so BB Craft is a site that sells from different brands. Like I said, these brands are Globe Land, these sets of stamps. Now what's really great is, I mean, I really love plants anyway. Um, and I have a die that looks like a shop front. Um, and I thought that this would just go so well with that. This would also be really nice um, in my planner. That was another thing that I was thinking of. Because again, like I said, I like that they're kind of like little whimsical drawings. I can have them kind of stamped around in the corners and colour them in. Um, so yeah, I actually had this in my favourites for a little while. And um, yeah, when I was looking, it was actually discounted. Uh, so that's why I... Uh, decided to add this to my order now I did write down uh, when you get your order you do get the kind of packing list so I did try and write down the prices now the prices are in dollars um, but conversion to pounds I think it's just slightly less um, when you work it out into pounds so these plant stamps were actually three pounds um, sorry three dollars 91 as I said it's in dollars so three ninety one for this stamp set, and I thought that that was absolutely reasonable. So so good. Um, as I say, as I'm part of the YouTubers program, I didn't actually pay for these. I do get sent these for free, but I wanted to give you the prices just so you can see if this is something that perhaps you would order. I'm just going to take it out of the packaging so that it's not so shiny for you. Okay, so I know that the acetate will obviously still give it a little bit of a shine, um, but at least um, hopefully that's taken away some of it. I'm just going to pop that piece of paper underneath it just so you can see um, again. But yeah, like I said, I love that the fact that they are little whimsical stamps. Um, like I said, I think they'll work really well with the shop front die that I've got because I can pretend it's a plant shop. Um, my sister's very much into plants as well, so that could be a nice little card idea for her. And like I said, I like the fact that I can use these in my planner because it's just a fun little drawing which I can kind of um, colour in when I'm doing uh, bits and pieces in my planner. So that was the first stamp set that I got. Um, then this one is actually a pack of four. So again, I'm going to take it out of its packaging quickly. Okay, so um, just to let you know, now this is a set of four stamps, as I say. This set of four Christmas stamps was $4.65. I thought, again, that was an absolute bargain. That was an offer. That was a sale thing that they had going on. But yeah, $4.65 I thought was amazing. And they are such lovely stamps. So they are Christmas themed. I do have Christmas stamps, but I was kind of looking for something that was a scenery so that's why I really loved this one. I thought this was so pretty. I love that you've got Merry Christmas in slightly different fonts as well. You've got this one that's quite a bold um, and this one that's um, not quite so much. It looks more uh, kind of like a calligraphy style where you've got thicker lines and thinner lines. So I really quite liked that. And like I said, this is just a beautiful um, scene and would look amazing on a card just as it is. So there's that one. Then... Like I said, I was looking for sceneries. We had this one as well. And I really loved the fireplace. And I love the fact that it looks kind of broken um, at the top as well. So that's really, really lovely. And again, you've got Merry Christmas, again, in a different font. Um, I'm not as chuffed about that one as I like these ones. I think I prefer these Merry Christmas to that style font. 
Um, but you also have sending you warm holiday wishes, which I think goes really nice with the idea of the fireplace. Um, and you've got we wish you a Merry Christmas. Now I have got dies that say Merry Christmas, so I could add a die to the top. I don't necessarily have to use a stamp. Um, I could possibly use the sending you warm um, holiday wishes inside the card. But like I said, mostly I was going for this. And the fact that, like I said, again, it's a four pack for $4.65, I think it was. Um, absolutely brilliant. So that was the second one. After that, they're just um, kind of nice, fun ones. So we've got this one, which is just your uh, poinsettia flowers, uh, some mistletoe, some holly. Um, and then you've got small little words, so joy, hugs, and again, a Merry Christmas. But I thought that would be quite nice again on a card. You can kind of build your own background with that. Um, and this one I just thought was fun as well with the doggies. Um, I was hoping that you could sort of stamp Happy Christmas um, and New Year but and then have the dogs kind of alternating but it doesn't quite work out because happy is facing that way christmas is facing that way but new year's also facing that way so it doesn't quite work out but um yeah i still thought it'd be nice to have a play around and i do like the fact that you've got the doggies in their little um christmasy jumpers as well so i do really really like this one um merry christmas from the dog i don't have a dog um, but my mum has a dog so um i may not use that one but the others are yeah, really, really sweet. And again, I love that you've got a little paw print, you've got little snowflakes. So again, you can kind of build your background using these as well. So that was that set of four stamps. And as I say, an absolute bargain, I think, at yeah, $4.65 for that set. Okay, so moving on to the dies. Now, I do love my dies and I have lots of dies. Um, this one also from Globeland. They are very popular um, on the BB Craft site. Um, I bought these. Now, um, you'll see what I mean when I take them out of the packaging. I'm going to do that very quickly. Okay, so these dies literally cut strips. And when I've seen card makers using these, I thought, how lazy, just use your trimmer. Um, but having said that trying to get like super skinny cuts on trimmers isn't always easy because obviously where you've got the guard so you don't obviously cut your fingers or what have you um it's very hard sometimes to get um those sort of skinny lines and it's just ever so quick so you lay this down onto a piece of patterned paper or different colored papers and you just get different side strips really easy all done um, what I also really liked is because it's a set of two, I also get a zigzag version of the same thing. So again, they start off really thin, they get a bit wider, a bit wider. So I can have a zigzag pattern on my cards as well. So I really quite liked that. Um, I think it just makes a very simple and creative background almost instantly. So um, yeah, I was really, really pleased with these as well. And again really affordable strips dies uh four dollars 36 like i said you get the two um so it's a set of two for four dollars 36 so a really really good price i will be doing test cuts and test stamping um at the end so you can see exactly how they look okay my next set so they're two but they're very similar so i'm going to take them out of the packaging first just because um it stops all of the glare Okay, so these are two sets. So this set, let's have a look. So this set was $6 and one, is it cent? I think, but yeah, $6 essentially. Now I ordered these because they are very, very similar to the Elizabeth Craft Designs. Now, when I saw these, I immediately went onto the Elizabeth Craft Designs website and went through the many 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 pages that there are on the site of her essential planner dies and i could not find either of these sets however there are similarities um i don't think that they are a knockoff version however they are clearly inspired by um so i've got just a standard page here um i know that in the Elizabeth Craft Designs 
um, sets. They have, she has got these sort of smaller photo style ones. Um, and I know I've seen today, and I think it might be Hello in the Elizabeth Craft Design set. There is a photo one in the Elizabeth Craft Design set, but it's larger. It's not as small as that one. Um, so, yeah, there are similarities. But like I said, I, I did go through and I looked at every single one and I could not see the set as it looks here um, on this one. So I don't think it's knockoff, but very much inspired by the Elizabeth Craft Designs. Um, also, the size is different. So I know... Um, the essential planners um, die sets that you can get, they come in two sizes. So one size is the kind of standard, which if you're here in the UK, it's like half of an A4 and that's the height of the standard one. As you can see, this is a lot smaller. Um, but Elizabeth Craft Designs does have one that's called a sidekick, which is smaller, which I believe is a very similar size to this so um, I think this was 17 and something centimeters let's have a check yeah so it's actually it is actually 17 centimeters this is 17 centimeters tall I think the sidekick version is slightly literally like half a centimeter taller um, so it is a slightly different size to the Elizabeth Craft ones uh, one thing I do like about the Elizabeth Craft ones is um, that the tags and things have holes so that they can also be on the hinges. But what I liked about this set is it actually comes with the die so that if I do want to add the holes to my sort of tags um, and journal cards, I can do that. You also get hole reinforcers, which I think is quite cute. You've got a little stamp frame, which I think is quite cute. You've got this um, kind of like paperclip banner thing. Um... Yeah, and then just lots of little fun elements like if you are travelling. So if you've got a camera, you've got a suitcase, uh, you've got different direction points, you've got the uh, location marker, um, you've got a couple of, again, sort of tags here, which I think, again, are quite cute. So like I said, I think a lot of these elements you can probably find on the Elizabeth Craft Designs um, die sets. However, not as a set like this. They're kind of you can find them throughout different sets so um yeah it's hard to say whether you would class this as a knockoff or if it's just an amalgamation of different ideas um but yeah i'm really happy um this is a new way that i'm thinking that i might plan um i'm not really a journaler while i love to make journals um i don't really journal but i do like doing a little bit of sort of scrapbooking and i thought this is a lovely size i can add a little bit photo write a few sentences about what's happened um, and then that's a page done um, and it doesn't feel quite so overwhelming so that's why I kind of went with these right the next in the die set were these and same as the other one I could not find this set as it appears here um, I know Elizabeth Craft Designs does have a kind of wavy pocket page but it doesn't have this these elements with it. Same as this one. It has a pocket page, but the one on Elizabeth Craft Designs does not have this element with the pocket page. So very much inspired by it, but not an exact replica. Um, for the two pockets, so it is a set of two. Um, this one was $6.43. So um, yeah, I still think a really fair price. And what's really nice about these is, again, the holes are all there. It literally folds up um, and then I can attach this to my base page in the other set. Um, again, I've got a kind of decorative tag. I've got some um, sort of nature elements, which I, I quite like. That tends to be the kind of theme that I go for. Um, again, you've got some hole reinforcers as well. So slightly different to this one. So I've got um, that kind of domed shape. I have got the same circles. The flower looks slightly different. So this one's perhaps got less petals, but is more rounded. Uh, this one's got more petals, so it's only very subtly done. So it's nice that I've got some variation there as well. Um, but yeah, lots and lots of fun elements. Again, this is more the kind of sidekick size. So this fits perfectly um, with this one. So if I was to kind of line these up, these holes all match. Um, and you can kind of see where that pocket 
would come to so if I was to kind of lay this over the top you can see I could potentially have a pocket there and then once this is folded up I'd have another pocket there so you instantly build a page um, and that's why I really quite liked these there were more on the BB craft site um, but I decided to go for these because I thought these two I definitely would use so I've got a basic page I've then got some pocket pages um, I thought I'd play around with these first and then maybe revisit the other ones on BB Craft at a later date. Right, now for the test cut. So let's do some cutting and see how they all punch out. Right, okay, so I have separated all of the dies so they are all um, broken up and I have cut out a few examples. I didn't want to cut through everything because as you can see, I mean, there's just absolutely tons in these sets. Um, but I just wanted an idea. Now, I did cut the butterfly only because it's, out of all of them, one of the more intricate cuts. So I just wanted to make sure that it cuts um, really, really well. And it did. All of the pieces popped out nicely. Um, sometimes with these intricate cuts, uh, it's very hard to kind of get all of these like small slither pieces out. But they all came out absolutely fine. I did have to use my um, pokey tool just to kind of help. Um, but yeah, they did all come out absolutely fine. So that's really, really good. Um, I did cut out a few of the other elements as well. So we've got a couple of of the tags here. So you've got, um, obviously this one has the decorative edge. Um, I think that one came with um, the pockets. Then you've got uh, these two, which came with the other set. Um, so you've got this one, which does have a kind of decorative edge down at the bottom. Um, this one you do have to punch the hole in so not all of them came with the hole punched um, now I know in the pocket set I have got one that's oops sorry that shape um, but it is slightly smaller but it does have the hole punched um, as I said what I quite like is in the page set um, I do have this three hole die so I could punch down at the bottom and then that means I can have my tags and things hinging off the page as well so they can go around in the ring binder um, so I do really really like that I do like that I've got that die in there but yeah that was a couple of the shapes there's the couple of um, sort of smaller tabs that you've got and then that's that teeny tiny little um, photo one so again they've all punched out really really well um, this is the base page um, so obviously I've got it on double-sided um, scrapbook paper but again it punched really really well um, you can see you've got the three holes there uh, this then would be the pocket so it does come uh, with the stitching as well which I think is really really nice um, so you would literally just fold that over Yeah, so as I was saying, you could have it as a standalone because obviously where it's got the holes, it could be on its own and then that's a pocket page because you can do something on the back here. You've then got your pocket on the front or, as I said, again, it's just a case of lining up the holes. You could um, stick this to the page and then you've got a tuck spot as well as a pocket at here. So lots and lots of options. Um, that's something that I really quite like is that you can have a play around with these. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really pleased. I think all of the dies have cut really well that I've tested. I can't imagine that any of the other dies within the sets won't cut out if these have cut out fine. Um, but as I said, there's tons here, so I didn't want to spend too much time um, cutting all of them. I just wanted to do some of the basic tag shapes, obviously the pages in the pocket page, um, and then something intricate just to double check that. But yeah, they cut really, really well. Okay, so moving on to these dies. Again, I did have to use my poker tool just to help ease them out. However, um, these cut really, really well. And again, they are quite intricate because you've got these very fine lines in between um, each of the lines. But what I like about this, as I say, um, especially if you've got double-sided paper, so I could have a play around with this and I might have some thin lines, I might have some wider lines, and you can kind of stack and build and create your own background um obviously it doesn't have to necessarily be uh patterned paper but yeah you can have a play around and the same with the zigzags so again i've got different 
thicknesses so it's just about swapping between one side and the other and again you can just kind of build up a layer as your background and you can have different thicknesses um, and then sort of like stick them down but these will make great card backgrounds so yeah I'm actually really impressed with these dies as I say when I first saw somebody I didn't see the zigzag ones I just saw somebody using the straight line ones and I thought surely you just use a trimmer but having said that the fact that I can easily have different size strips and like I said trying to get a thin strip like this on your trimmer can be very difficult because obviously that finger guard and trying to see exactly how thin um, some trimmers don't like it they kind of start screwing up the paper if it gets too thin as well um, so I thought this actually might be quite a nice way and especially because I get the zigzag ones because it's a set I thought well they'll make a fun background if they are um, like that yeah but yeah they cut beautifully I'm impressed right let's take a look at the stamps okay so I have pulled out my stamp positioner just because I think that's going to be easy I've also pulled out a few um, these are just like scrap cutoffs and stuff um, that I thought I would use I've got my Versafine black ink um, and I've got this which is kind of like a press for this just to kind of give some e um, even pressure so this was one that I actually um, made so I just put a rose in there this was actually a um, candle jar lid um, that I yeah converted into a stamp press so let's have a little look so I think we'll start with these ones so let's have a look that might just be big enough okay so I can't quite fit all of the stamps on there but it doesn't matter so long as we kind of get an idea of how well they stamp one thing I did quite like is that they peeled off the sheet nicely um, sometimes when um, I get stamps I have to wrestle them off of this sheet so I'm glad I didn't have to do that right let's push that down okay but they stamp really really nicely obviously I've got smudging but that's because they're I'm clearly a messy inker uh, and I've got ink whoops on my stamping platform but they do stamp very well um, so that's really really good so I am happy with those so I'm just going to rub off the ink and then I can put those back and we can move on to the next one okay so next I'm moving on to the doggies I haven't done all of them um, because again they're not all going to fit on here and I am reusing this so obviously ignore the go wild it's your birthday that was for something else um, but I've got a couple of the dogs on there I've got a couple of the smaller pieces so I've got the snowflake and the paw print because I'm interested to see how well it stamps the smaller images as well um, I've also got the sentiment may all your Christmas wishes come true because again that's very fine print so I want to see how well that stamps um and the we wish you a merry christmas so let's bring the door over does the sentiments very well the doggies are absolutely sweet aren't they and considering all the fine detail that's in here all the teeny little dots um it's done it all really really well and even the, like the smaller ones as well so yeah really really happy with those doggies right let's try the next one okay so I'm now doing the one with the um, poinsettia on and the holly again I've just picked a few of them um, I've tried to go for, a, go for a holly leaf I've gone for the mistletoe and the poinsettia and I've also gone for the uh, small sentiments just because I want to see how well they stamp much better okay so yeah they stamp absolutely beautifully as well um, and even the sentiments even though they're small so that's really really good right now on to my favorites the scenery okay, so the next one that I'm going to try is this one so we've got the lovely fireplace um, and I've picked the sending you warm holiday wishes because I think out of these sentiments that's probably the one that I'm more likely to use as I said I'm not crazy about this font but I do like this one so uh, that's the one I'm going to test so let's bring the door over so we can pick them up ok 
again there we go but how beautiful is that i really love that that's really fantastic um yeah such a fantastic image um and when that's colored and i don't even know if it needs to be colored you could maybe have um, an inked background lightly lightly inked background and just have that stamped over the top really really nice yeah love that one okay let's try the other one okay so next i'm trying this one now i haven't got a lot of space at the bottom to put my sentiment so i'm going to stamp it and then come back and do the sentiment in a moment um, but i'm very excited about this one so let's get it first of all on the door oh my goodness how gorgeous is that image oh i love it i really love it again that doesn't even need any color does it you could just have a very faint i don't know color to the background do some very very light ink blending and then just have that oh i really love it right let's try putting the sentiment on okay and that stamps so well as well brilliant i really love this one i think yeah i think this one's my favorite very closely followed by the fireplace really really love these um yeah very very happy with how that has stamped well there we go my goodness um i am extremely extremely happy with this order from bb crafts the stamps are all absolutely beautiful these two as i said have to be my absolute favorite i'm definitely going to be using these in christmas cards this year um i will be doing some more crafty videos so you'll be able to see how i use these um they will probably be in the next video um i'm definitely going to be doing a video where i'm using these planner dies um, as I said, clearly inspired by the Elizabeth Craft designs, but when I looked, I could not find these die sets on the Elizabeth Craft website. So I don't think they're copies, but clearly inspired by. Um, but I'm really excited. They are a brilliant size. All of the accessories and bits that you get with them are fantastic. So I can't wait to create my planner uh, with them. So yeah, you'll see me putting that together in a future video coming up. Um, and likewise, I think these are going to be really good for different backgrounds as well. And I might even use these um, with the planner as well. So, yeah, looking forward to the next few videos then where I get to have a play around with these some more. Everything will be linked down below. There is also a discount code. So if you do go shopping at BB Crafts, make sure that you take advantage of um, the code. I do not get any commission for it, so um, I don't get paid for that obviously i receive the products for free that's kind of like my payment so yeah go and use that code if you want to go shopping and purchase some of their items right that's all from me i will see you all in the next crafty video thank you very much bye bye <laughs>